Hello, boys and girls. My name is LCC and welcome back to season five of Oxygen Not Included, where we will do things a bit differently than in the past. Um, we in the past I was really focused on um getting everything out to you what's going on and in this series i think we will focus more on the key aspects of this run and as always we will have a challenge i am not sure what this challenge is as of yet uh, we are on the ardente uh asteroid and as you can see uh, lots of uh, life going on here but as far as i can see the only ore that we have is aluminium ore here in the middle maybe uh, yeah there is a bit of iron uh, probably no copper and gold might also be hard to come by so uh, we will we will see how that actually goes so let's do three of those and then toilets and i am thinking that we shall do this more in a in a manner okay let's focus on what's really uh, relevant uh, and uh, uh, show that in a in a video so it will not be a series step by step uh, where you will see everything that is happening so let's go up here then over there and then we can have a bit of a water pump there and that should sort us out uh, one of the first elements as uh, always is uh, sorting our oxygen supply and this could be a challenge here because so far I have not seen any algae um, so we do have quite a few of oxyfern but uh that would probably not allow for a big uh for a big uh, colony because they do not produce that much oxygen um otherwise uh, let's set up a bit of um uh, a power thing here so that we can then also start on research because we will probably rely on various game mechanics um, that allow us to use resources and creatures in the game uh, in order uh, to actually uh, progress with the game so I think first we need um, a terrarium would only be helpful if we have actual um, uh, ox uh, algae so I am thinking, where does it hide? 
this one. The rust deoxidizer. Uh, I have never used it. So let's see if we can do something with, with that. And um, if not, we will have to find a, a different way to get to our oxygen. And at least for the moment, I think we're, we're still good uh, with, with food, uh, but probably um, oxygen will run out uh, soonish um, unless we have some means to uh, to produce oxygen so uh, let's also talk a bit about what possible goals uh, we could have here in this uh, series um, as we probably don't have that much uh, uh, mineral ore metals and so on um, it might not be that easy um, to have extensive uh, space missions so one thing that I could imagine is that uh, Clay did introduce a few years back story traits. We never did something with that. So could be interesting to look into that and see what's that all about. Uh, another possibility could be um, farm for every type of creature um, we did quite uh, a few forms uh, in the in the past but never all of them in in the same world so that could also be something and i'm sure that in order to achieve our goals we will need uh, to launch some rockets um, but we shall see how, how that works out. So that research is done. That was, was quite fast. So then maybe let's focus on this one here and see the electrolyzer uses, um, uses water and power and this one uses rust salt and power and produces oxygen and chlorine and iron ore uh, that could be that could be our goal to get iron ore yeah i i see that um However, we have to find a way um, to deal with the, with the chlorine gas uh, and we need a bit of rust. We do have some here. I have no idea how reliable that source is. So what we can do uh, in the in the meantime is have an electrolyzer set up um, that uses that uses water and power um, and let's see what we have here i will hold off adding more duplicates because our oxygen situation is not sorted yet so we will we will have to figure that one out and another possibility i mean oxygen is one aspect but um 
power is an important other one and usually uh, we have the coal we have the gas generators solar power um, and then of course the petroleum generator so with this being a very biological world i'm thinking we could try uh, grow some trees uh, and use the wood to get us the power we can we can uh, burn the wood directly uh, or we can i uh, think refine it to get uh, ethanol uh, and uh, use that in uh, the the petroleum generator that should be good um however looking into into this we can see if we farm wood that uh, requires quite a bit of dirt and polluted water so what i will try instead is having a farm based on the uh, on the pips they will plant the, the trees uh, they will use the trees to stay happy and as a as a byproduct uh, we should be able um, to get ourselves a, a bit of uh, of wood that we can then use uh for what we what we need so that however means that we need um ranching ranching Ooh, there is more new stuff than the last time i played creature pick up creature drop off we, we need this one and for that we need advanced research and for that to work here uh, we need a storage container that basically contains the arbor seeds um, we can also add the oxyphon seeds um, and then uh, let's open this door and maybe we can get this pip to walk in there accidentally and have an early on uh, farm uh, in in that regard so i think uh, let's let's have a look at the temperature over here it's cold there it's warm there it's warm there it's cold there it's cold so looks to me like the way down would be good uh, and here we need to have a tile and let's dig out through here and also have a peak going upwards check all these things off the research is fast okay let's close the door uh, 
We were too slow. Um. And. Connection there. And while we are here, we probably need some gas filters that to work. And I think with that prospect, we will end this first episode uh, and we will see what the actual first uh, project that we will tackle um, will be. So hope you enjoyed this introductory uh, uh, video episode of oxygen not included and also tune in next time for more until then goodbye